our channel Science of Life and this is Preeti, your science mentor and she is Yana, my niece and student. Hello everyone. Okay Yana, tell me what do you think about science? I love science but I hate learning and studying. Let's see, this is the problem of today's generation. They all love science. They want to explore new new things. They want to do new discoveries, new innovative things. But they don't want to learn and study the textbook materials. But if you are not going to do that, then how you people are going to perform in your exams and your parents are going to be unhappy from you. So, Science of Life channel has a solution for this. We are going to teach you the topics that are given in your textbook but in an easy and creative manner. So, Yana would tell me which topic she would like to study. Mm, water cycle. Okay, water cycle. It's a very good topic. So, let's start. Okay, Yana, you tell me what first thought come to your mind when you hear the word water cycle. Water on a cycle. Water cycle. Okay, yeah. Yana, you are very funny, I must tell you. But as a science teacher, this is not funny for me. Water on a cycle is water cycle. It's a creative thought. Taking this into consideration, let's start the topic water cycle in a very easy, creative and magical one. So, in water cycle, the first word is water. So, Yana, tell me, what are the water bodies in our world? Ocean, sea, river, ponds and etc. Okay, so these are the water bodies. I told you, she is a very smart and intelligent girl. So, these are the water bodies, river, ocean, sea, ponds, lakes. Lots of water bodies are there. So, in water cycle, we need water first of all. So, let's bring one water body here. Shoe! Wow! Amazing! What a beautiful ocean! Yes! This is the beautiful ocean. And look there! Wow! This is the beautiful shining sun. Yes! The two things what we needed in water cycle is water body and heat of the sun. Yes. Now, Yana, as your intelligent girl, you tell me, when you are standing under the sun, what do you feel? Oh, very hot. Pasina pasina. Yes. You feel very hot and start sweating under the sunlight. The same way, oceans also sweat. Kya? Ocean or sea ko bhi pasina a sakta hai? Yes. Unhe bhi pasina a sakta hai. But in a different manner, in a scientific manner. So... Let's start the topic water cycle. See, here is the ocean that is the large water body. Here is the sun. When sun heat is coming on the ocean, water of the ocean starts converting into water vapor. Water vapor that is the gaseous form of water. Water convert into water vapor. And this process is called as evaporation. Understood? Yes, I understood. What happens to water vapor? See, you tell me first of all what happens to you, how you feel after sweating. Thunder, thunder, cool, cool. Yes, she feels thunder, thunder, cool, cool after sweating. In the same way, this water vapor goes up in the sky and cools down and form clouds. So, C for cooling, C for clouds. And this process of water vapor converting into clouds is called as condensation. So, C for cooling, C for clouds and C for condensation. Very simple. It's very easy to learn. C for cloud, C for condensation. Yes. Okay, now one more question for this intelligent girl. So, Yana tell me, when I will, if I give you a container full of water, then what will happen? Water would split out. Yes, water would splash out, split out. In the same way, when these clouds become heavy with the water, they splash out in the form of rain and that process is called as precipitation and this water comes back to the earth in the form of rain. I love rain. Oops. Sorry, sorry. Precipitation. See, she also learned it. Now, this is the water cycle. First of all, water of the ponds, oceans get evaporated and form water vapor. These water vapor go up from clouds. Then come precipitation, then again evaporation, clouds, condensation and again rain, precipitation. So this cycle goes on repeating and as you said water on a cycle. See water is on a cycle, riding, 
riding, riding again and again and in this way water of the earth get replenishes again and again and this was our water cycle. Hope you understood Yana. Yes. So she understood completely. Hope you also understood. So I hope this was very easy to learn. So let's take one test. First of all, heat of the sun heat the water and it convert into water vapor. What does this process Yana? Evaporation. Very good. Now this water vapor goes up and then what happens? Clouds and condensation. See, she is a smart girl. Condensation. Now, this, after this, what will come back to earth? Rain. That precipitation. Yes. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. This cycle goes on repeating and our water cycle is completed. So my dear students, hope you understood and visualized the scene of the water cycle and now, you will be able to learn and write in your exams easily in your own words and definitely you are not going to forget this throughout your life. So stay healthy, stay at home, be happy, keep learning and stay tuned for the next videos. Bye! Bye.